Even the gruesome nature of the attack on tens of thousands of innocent pilgrims inside the Hamandar Sahib and other Gurdwaras does not compare to the disturbing nature of the anti-Sikh programs that took place after the death of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. On October 31, 1984, following the assassination of Indira Gandhi by her Sikh bodyguards Satwant Singh and Biant Singh, all hell broke loose for the Sikhs in Delhi and major cities across India. For three to five straight days, crazed mobs organized by the leaders of the ruling Congress party walked the streets searching for any Sikhs and their property. The police for the most part incited the angry mobs or stood idle. A senior police officer stated before the Misra Commission, the riots were engineered to teach the Sikhs a lesson. Some Sikhs had kerosene doused tires thrown around their necks only to be burned alive. This practice was so familiar in programs that the President of India later referred to it as the Garland Treatment. The residents and businesses owned by Sikhs were looted by the mob. Whatever they did not want was set on fire. Many Sikhs were pulled out of their own homes and beaten or killed. The mob stopped local buses to look for Sikhs. They then dragged Sikhs outside and set them on fire or beat them to death. Gurdwaras were vandalized or burned down. Many young Sikh girls and women were gang raped. Despite appeals made to the Prime Minister designate Rajiv Gandhi and to the Home Minister Narsimha Rao, the army was not called in to protect the Sikhs until several days later when damage had already been done and the lives had been lost. To justify the slaughter of thousands of Sikhs within five days, the new Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi proclaimed, there are always tremors when a great tree falls. The actual number of Sikhs murdered will never be known because the government cremated most bodies without reporting the deaths. Between October 31, 1984 and November 3, thousands of Sikhs lost their lives. At least 50,000 were displaced and tens of thousands of Sikh homes and businesses were burned to the ground. The officials responsible for the slaughter of thousands of Sikhs remain in administration today, not having suffered any punishment for the murder of innocent citizens of their own country. In fact, several have been rewarded for their deeds with promotions. Even though the killings of thousands of Sikhs was organized by the Hindu government and led by Hindu mob, it should be noted that many Sikhs that survived the attacks were saved by their Hindu neighbors.